there, welcome back to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today I'm going to show you how to knit a basic pullover sweater for your MSD dolls. Tink is gonna help me out and be the model for when we're done. Hi girly. So what we're going to do is pull out our yarn and our needles and we will pick which one we think will make a great sweater. So I've decided on a sport weight yarn and four millimeter needles. So this is gonna be a slightly chunkier sweater. Often when I do fine sweaters, it, the yarn is actually these little like bonbon yarns. They're a little bit finer. Uh, those work really well or crochet thread, but we're not doing a fine sweater today. We're doing kind of a chunky knit sweater. So I'm going to cast on 20 stitches and we will get started from there. So now that we have our 20 stitches, um, I wanna mention that I can knit this in the round, but to make this as simple as possible and to do it in one full piece from the bottom up back to the bottom, we're going to be knitting it flat. So although I have round needles, we are knitting this flat. We have our 20 stitches and we're going to be knitting some ribbing. So to do this, we're going to knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way across. And then you're gonna flip it over and you're going to knit it, uh, continue in that ribbing. So knit, purl, knit, purl. Um, just make sure that if your last stitch was a knit, you're doing a knit again so that you don't end up with like a moss stitch. You want to end up with like ribbing. So I'm going to do that for four rows and then come back and we're going to start the rest of the sweater. So I've decided given how chunky this is, it would make a really cute cropped sweater. So what we're going to do now is knit in stockingette. And what that means is you're going to knit across one row and then purl back across. Then knit and then purl when you flip it. So we're going to do that for eight rows. So it's gonna be eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna come back and start the sleeves. Okay, so now we have our eight rows of stockingette on top of our four rows of ribbing. So what we're going to do is, since I'm doing a short sleeve spring sweater, I'm going to cast on five stitches on either side of this. Okay, so if you want a long sleeve sweater, you're going to want to cast on 20 stitches on either side. Since mine is going to be about a cap sleeve, which will come to about here. If you want a long sleeve to here, you'll want about 20 stitches. And if you want kind of a mid sleeve here, you're gonna want about 17 or 16 stitches. It all depends on the length of the arm of your doll, but uh, Tink is a pretty standard MSD, at least like with the length of her arms and stuff. So I'm gonna cast on five on either side and we're going to start the first row and we're going to do it completely normal stocking it. So it's going to be knitted across. I'm gonna show you what to do right after we do that. Excuse the airplane sounds outside, but now we have our five stitches cast on either side. So it's going to be flipped this way since we're on the purl side now. And what we're going to do is always knit, even on the purl side, the first two stitches and the last two stitches. This is going to create uh, like a faux ribbing kind of cuff. So it's going to be like knit, knit, purl across to the last two and then knit, knit. Then when we flip it over, it will just be straight knit across. And we're going to do this for eight rows, including this one, so seven more rows. So now that we have our uh, eight rows of stockingette and our faux cuffs started, if you can now see what I mean, what we're going to do is do one more knit across, turn it over, you're going to knit knit, and then you're gonna purl eight. Then you're going to cast off 10, purl eight, knit two. Awesome, so now you should have something that looks like this. So basically what we're doing now is just knitting the other side of the sweater, which is going to look just like this, but like inverted and over here. So we're going to continue what we are doing. Um, we're going to knit these, cast on 10 stitches, and then knit the other 10. And then we're gonna flip it over and do another stocking it with the cuff we just did. So again, just like 
knit 10, cast on 10, knit 10, flip, knit two, purl across, and then knit the last two, flip, knit. So yes, we're going to do that until for nine more rows or until you can fold it over and it all lines up um, as this part, the part before the neck hole and the part after being the same length. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a moment. Okay, so now we have our extra rows. And what I meant by doubled over is if you grab it and you fold it over at the neck hole, that the sleeves match up, which they do. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to cast off five, knit across the rest of the way. And then on the purl row, I'm going to cast off five going the other way. And then we're going to continue in the stockingette for eight rows. Okay, so now I have my eight rows of stockingette. I'm going to do exactly what I did down here and I'm gonna do four rows of uh, ribbing and then I'm going to cast off. Okay, so now that we have our T-shaped knitted thing, um, if you have long sleeves, they're of course gonna be a bit longer. What we're going to do is flip it inside out so fold it over that way and you're going to use the yarn that you have at either end like this and you're going to stitch the seams it's going to be the here to here this part needs to stay open this part needs to stay open and then the same thing on the other side then when we turn it right side out we will have a sweater okay so i'm just going to cut off the tails here flip it inside out and put it on era and with that, we have an adorable finished crop sweater. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial or what you would like to see me make next time. If you try this for yourself, please tag me on Instagram um, at Teeny Tinkers or drop a link to the photo below. I would love to see what you guys are making. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot. And if you haven't, I hope you like my content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.